Now, let's go to Genesis chapter 11 and verse 6. Genesis chapter 11 and verse 6. Here, we have the story of the Tower of Babel and the confounding of the languages. And the Lord said, Behold, the people are one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be withheld from them which they have imagined to do. Come, let us, this is the Lord, come, let us go down there and confound their language. So let us, so here again we see a singular and we see plurality. We confess this in the Athanasian Creed today. The Athanasian Creed is named after St. Athanasius, who is that great champion of the Orthodox faith against Arianism at the time of the First Ecumenical Council. And of course the Nicene Creed is so clear in this. But we see unity and we see a plurality. Now let's go to Daniel chapter 7 and verse 14. We looked at this text on Ascension Thursday, but let's look at it again just briefly. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 14. And there are so many verses, I'm only doing a few of what I intended to do because I can teach the Trinity as clearly from the Old Testament as I do from the New Testament. But You've got to go here and there to find it. You have to know about the Trinity to put the pieces together. The pieces all come together in the New Covenant Scriptures. Now remember in the book of Acts we read that Christ was caught up into heaven in his ascension. We know that he, he was caught up in a cloud. And here we find um, in verse uh, Daniel 7, let's start at verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days. And they brought him before him, and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. So here we have the Ancient of Days, God the Father, we have one like unto a son of man. And you'll also find one like unto a son of man in the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the three Hebrew children of the fiery furnace in the book of Daniel. And you'll find the, him spoken of in many, many other places in the scriptures. Go back with me to 2 Samuel chapter 23 and verse 1. 2 Samuel chapter 23 and verse 1. I could spend days in the Old Covenant, showing you the plurality of the Godhead. 2 Samuel, chapter 23, verse 1. Now these are the last words of David. So this is what the last thing that David the prophet had to say. David, the son of Jesse, the man who was raised up on high, the anointed of the God of Jacob, and the sweet psalmist of Israel said, The Spirit of the Lord spoke by me, and His word was on my tongue. The God of Israel... The rock of Israel spoke to me. He that ruleth over men must be just, ruling in the fear of God. And he shall be as the light of the morning when the sun riseth. Even as a morning without clouds, as the tender grass springing out of the earth by clear and shining after rain. Here, the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of Jehovah, spoke to me. The God of Israel says, so here we have God and we have a person in God, the Spirit. Note also the God of Israel, the rock of Israel. You know, our Roman friends say that the rock is Peter and Christ, the church is found of the rock, a human faith, a human church. I could give you so many verses throughout the Old Testament Scriptures that tell you what the rock is. God. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Thou art Peter, a little stone. And upon this rock, upon me, the Christ, the Son of the living God, God himself, I will build my church. The gates of hell will never prevail against it. It's a divine church. So here we find this. 